Hello viewers, this is example number 18.9 from the FSC second year physics. This numerical is based on the de Broglie hypothesis. We will determine the de Broglie wavelength. The de Broglie hypothesis tells us about the wave nature of particles. Whenever there is a particle and that particle is moving with certain velocity, then there are waves associated with that particle. So using the de Broglie hypothesis, we will determine the de Broglie wavelength of a particle that have a mass of 5.0 mg and is moving with 8.0 m per second. Uh, let's consider this as a particle. The mass of the particle is 5.0 mg and the velocity of the particle is 8 m per second. Now converting this 5.0 mg to standard SI unit, we will have 5.0 multiply 10 power minus 6 kg. This is in, in SI standard form. So we have just converted this milligram to kilogram. Uh, the speed of the particle is given as 8.0 m per second and we are going to calculate the de Broglie wavelength. The Planck's constant we know is equal to 6.63 multiply 10 power minus 34 joule second. Uh, we would use the de Broglie equation which is lambda is equal to h by p. Lambda is the wavelength associated with the particle which is moving with certain velocity. h is the Planck's constant and p in this equation is momentum. And we know that the momentum is mass time velocity mv, mass times velocity. Substituting the value for the momentum or p in this uh, de Broglie equation, we will have lambda is equal to h by mv. Now we have the value of Planck's constant which is 6.63 multiplied 10 power minus 34, the value of mass and the value of velocity. Substituting the values for Planck's constant mass of the particle and velocity of the particle and solving we will have 6.63 multiply 10 power minus 28 divided by 40. Now further solving this we will get that the Broglie wavelength is equal to 1.6 multiply 10 power minus 29 meter and in standard form we will have 1.66 multiply 10 power minus 20 nanometer and this will be the wavelength of the particle having mass of 5.0 milligram and that particle is moving with 8.0 meter per second. So this is the wavelength which we have calculated using the de Broglie equation. And that's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos. Thank you.